connection between Alex Santiago, who believes that he did enough to come away a world champion tonight here in the home of champions, the Oracle Arena, where the Golden State Warriors have won the last two NBA championships. It was Jerwin Ancaja who came in with the belt with the Golden State Warriors jersey. But when we leave a champion, Tim, that's a big question tonight. We're going to see what the judges have. What surprised you the most today, Mark? I can't wait to see these cards. We're here live real time, exactly 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday, September the 28th, 2018. I... In my opinion, Jeren and Cajas should lose his IBF 115-pound titles to Alejandro Santiago Barrios. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. This was on a top rank on um, ESPN Plus, actually. And, you know, to try to pinpoint it, you could say maybe it was the height of, um, of, um, Santiago that gave Encaja some trouble, but as Mark Kriegel said, I don't know if it was Mark Kriegel or the commentator uh, 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 Timothy Bradley that said that. Well, you know, when you're in the flyweight division, you're fighting shorter fighters, guys that are five foot three, five foot two. In, in the case of Encaja, he's listed at five foot six. Let's listen to the cards. Beke uh, Santiago feeling he did enough to win. However, looking before we even read the cards, we are here live. It says you can see the little red down here. This is live. I haven't fast forward or rewind it. He had he's 16, 2, and 4. Only one definitive defeat on his career. Here at Oracle Arena, the official scorecard reads as follows. Judge Tate scores about 116 to 112 in favor. That's what I have it for. Cacas. No, I have that for Santiago. Barrios. 118 to 111 in favor of Santiago. And Judge Wilson scores the bout. 114 to 114. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is declared a draw. All right. How can three people see such a different fight? The draw, we talked about it's a close fight, a lot of close rounds. But 118, 111 for Santiago. I was sitting here watching this, right? And I knew this shit was going to happen. Dude is similar to 140, 147 pound Adrian Granados. I knew this shit was going to happen. What the fuck? Why did I pause it? And 116, 112 are completely. Santiago will be known throughout his career now is the guy who got paused. But. There's, there's, there's Look, even the Filipinos are there's upset. By a lot of people. Damn. Attention. This was against a champion. This draw works for him. It works for his career. Whether it was just or not, we can debate it. But this serves him well. Well, it serves him well. The fact that he's keeping the belt only. But in terms of Ancajas, that's two unimpressive performances in a row, Tim. I don't know. Santiago looked like he did the job tonight. I just have to say it's a close fight, but I was leaning more towards Santiago taking the champion out. And Cajas, he looked good. He darted in and out. He landed the better punches tonight. I, I, I thought he just was more efficient. He fought his game plan. He did exactly what he wanted to do in there. And he landed the better punches and the better shots. I thought he beat the champion tonight. What you're hearing is the fans basically concluding the same thing as you did, Tim. The fans giving Santiago the applause. I want to let them finish, but I don't want to at the same time. You know, it's, 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 it's upsetting. You know, even in Cajas, you got to look at his face. And, you know, he's a cool fighter and everything. I like him. You know, and before this, you know, I was singing the high praises and I thought his last fight, you know, here. Let, I want I want to look at the numbers. No highlights. Uh, they're moving on to the next fight. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do a post-fight interview. What is? Oh. We're going to talk about the 115-pound division. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I don't even want to. Let me put this down. I'm, 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 I'm disgusted. Here, let me pull. Let me, I, I'm, I'm disgusted. I still got to watch the um, Utskata guy, uh, Moderna fight. But 
And Cajas was uncomfortable in there. As I'm sitting here watching the fight, before I hit record, I'm sitting here just like this. You know, drinking some motherfucking, I made some um some homemade iced tea in my little dollar store cup. And I'm watching the fight. You know, texting, texting. I feel bad for this homie. Because in, 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 in boxing, this shit happens. And I'm sitting there. Who was the, the this guy? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. How much time we got? We got plenty of time. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. I don't want to get myself copywritten. I want to know who this referee. I mean, who, this, who is this judge? Let me see if I can get a. He's right here. This guy right here. What's his name? Who did he score for? This guy, this guy right here. I was watching him the whole time. And I was I was looking. It was around, I would say around round four when I was like, yo, and Kahas is gonna really have some issues with this dude. I think it was round two. Or round three. Um, so I'm looking at him, and he was really like in he was following it, like really into it. 116, 112 for in Kahas. I had that for Santiago. Another judge, 117, 111 for Santiago, and another judge gives it 114, 114. However, this is, I just, ah. and then you look at what happened with Canelo versus Golovkin, and that goes to show you, man, judging is weird as shit. Being a, but judging is weird, man. Let's go look at the 115 pound division. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Let me see. Let me see if they give him an interview. Nope, they still on commercial break. Damn! Why didn't y'all tell me, man? Jesus Christ! Y'all go get me! <laughs> Jesus Christ! My bad. I gotta tell me these things, man. Um, well, it's commercials, so it's not like I'm actually doing them a favor, showing fucking commercials and shit. But let's go right here. Uh, here's the thing. It's really, really, really good news. The 115-pound division is open, meaning since HBO is out of the business of boxing, if you haven't got the news, there's not going to be any more HBO boxing. i got to add the G. It's not going to be any more HBO boxing. It's done. So the Superfly series, you remember the first one had um, Roman um, Chocolotito Gonzalez versus um, Sersiket Sor Visai. It was a controversial win for um, Rung Visai at the time. But then the second fight, Superfly 2, Rung Visai knocked um Chocolo Tito out so now consensus is he is the number one 115 pounder he is the man I'm going to be covering his next fight if I'm correct he fights again next month obviously Showtime was I mean not Showtime the Showtime card is on in, in the background that's why I said Showtime um ESPN has been talking about him versus Joan and Cajas in the future especially since now that HBO is out of the business. Guys like Rung Visai, uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, uh, Mick Williams Arroyo, Juan uh, Francisco Estrada. Um, they got to run back. They got to do a rematch of Donnie Nietes versus uh, Aston Palicta. I did that video. That was a draw. In my opinion, Nietes won, but Palicta was game. But it was a draw for the vacant WBO title. Remember, Inouye had moved up. I'm going to be covering him next week. So this is too lackluster. Why is this on par? I need to make sure I'm not missing the uh, Ustakai line. Make sure we... You know, remember that um, they've been really trying to like bring more content to ESPN and now that HBO is out of the business the 115 pound division I don't think Showtime is going to pick up those fighters the World Boxing Super Series is on the is on the zone with the 118 pound division so 
I wonder what he's talking about. Is he talking about Encajas? Fired up, and I'll take care of business. Well, you know what? It, it all worked out that night for Steph and for yourself as well. And the resume for this guy is just off the charts. You wonder with... I thought they was going to be talking about um, Encajas. Also, um, Andre Ward's going to be returning soon. I think he's going to wait for um, Usyk to move up to um, heavyweight before he returns to cruiserweight. He's talked about it before. He's even been hinting at it on social media every couple of months or so, and he's been putting on the weight. And also, um, I heard about it from a very credible inside source. Was it? Has it been a year? Maybe less than a year ago. Some somewhere, but you know, whatever. Anyway, um. <sighs> I'm hoping that they give uh, Santiago Barrios um, his rematch. I mean, a rematch. He deserves it. And his team should appeal. With the IBF, they should be able to. It's the IBF. So the I, they, they should. his team should appeal that. They definitely should. And the good thing about top rank that a lot of people gave them shit for in the past is that um, they like doing rematches. So we, so we can see in Cajas versus uh, Santiago Barrios too. I think Bob Barum and um, Todd DeBuff would maybe okay that, right? Before we talk about, you know, Rung Visai and all them, because I say, you know, Rung Visai versus Estrada, Superfly 4 with Rung Visai, Estrada, Nietes versus Palikde 2 on regular HBO. I mean, not on HBO, on, on regular ESPN, Superfly 4. And if they really, really want to be crazy with it, throw Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez on that card. Since he's still at 115, I don't think they would do that crazy, though. Khalid, Khalid Yafai is um, over with um, Eddie Hearn Matchroom The Zone, from my understanding. So, you know, he's kind of out of the mix politically. But all those other guys I mentioned, this free game. Even down to uh, Jose Martinez. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy. I'm salivating for this. I even thought about, you know, splurging to go out just to the press conference. And probably, no, I wouldn't go to the weigh-in. Probably the media workout and the press conference, but I will be back for the fight for uh, Crawford Benavides. But anyway, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. You know, and Kaha's got some things to work on. I wonder if, you know, maybe, you know, they're going to possibly explore a, 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 a change in trainer. You know how maybe, you know, he can probably, they probably end up putting it with Freddie Roach or something like that. Um, come over to the States. I wonder what's going on in his, in his personal life as well. You know, if he's got anything, he's got to clean up there because right now on this platform with ESPN, you know, and with the big fights that are available for him and also with the Filipino ratings and the Asian ratings that he bring in, that he brings in, you know, he's got to get his shit together for real. You know, if you want to be a star, because right now they're giving him the platform, you know, I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.